What's up, Team MK Fitness? This is Coach Tony. I'm here for the workout of the day for Tuesday, December the 1st. All right, today we're gonna do an upper body workout of the day or wad. All right, so just remember, all of our programming are intended for Team MK Fitness members. If you're not a Team MK Fitness member, you can still do this workout, but do so at your own risk, okay? So, what we wanna do is start off with the warm-ups, okay? So, since we're working upper body, I wanna start with stretching out our chest, okay? So if you can find a wall, all you wanna do is uh, point your right shoulder to the wall and place your right palm on the wall. Your hips are faced perpendicular towards the wall, away from the wall, I should say, okay? And we're stretching out our, our chest. Now, you wanna hold this stretch for about 30 seconds. And once you've done that for 30 seconds, we're gonna turn around and stretch the opposite side, okay? Stretch the opposite side. Once we're done with the chest, we're gonna do the same thing, uh, warm up our shoulders. So, what I want you to do is set up just like you were doing for your chest, place your right hand on the wall. We're gonna do wall circles. This is gonna uh, warm up and stretch uh, the musculature in the shoulders here. So. All you want to do is move, make a circle along the wall, keeping your palm on the wall. Now, while you do, while you do this, you want to pack those shoulders down. You don't want to lose uh, that packness in the shoulder. So, as you move your hand in a circle on the wall, you want to keep that shoulder packed down. Now, if you're unable to move your hand all the way around the wall, then you need to step away from the wall a little bit. So. You can step as close as you want to the wall as long as you're able to keep your shoulders packed down, okay? And you wanna do these about, give you about 10 reps, okay? Once you've done one side, you can do the other side, okay? Pack those shoulders down, make your wall circles, okay? Challenge yourself by moving a little closer to the wall, see how far you can make it, okay? About 10 reps. All right, so now that we've warmed up the chest and shoulders. Let's go ahead and uh, activate the core and our, and our upper back, okay? Because we're gonna work those today too. So, I'm gonna start off by doing some plank walkouts, okay? We're gonna do about five plank walkouts, but between each rep, we're also gonna do some retraction, okay, with the shoulders. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So, squat down, walk out into a plank, hands right underneath your, your shoulders, keep those hips rolled forward, and stack those shoulders. And uh, while you're here, you're gonna give me about five shoulder retractions. Three, four, and five, and then walk it back. Okay, walk it out again. Same stretch. One, two, three, four, five, walk it back. Okay and then stand up. So once you've done about five rounds of that, we've warmed up everything that you need to warm up to do this workout. Now, I know you're wondering, what is the workout for today? So, we're gonna start off with doing two little mini workouts, okay? The first one is gonna include, the first one's gonna include mountain climbers, that's gonna be core, it's also gonna be some cardio, and then we're gonna pair that up with some push-ups, okay? Now, the way this is set up, we are going to do, start off, we're gonna do 10 rounds, okay? Uh, first round is gonna be 20 mountain climbers with one push-up. Second round, 19 mountain climbers, two push-ups. Third set, 18 mountain climbers, three push-ups. You see the pattern there? And so you'll keep going in that pattern until you end up, your last set will be 11 mountain climbers, and 10 push-ups, okay? And you're just gonna keep going back and forth as you're able to. You can do them unbroken if you want to. If you need to take a break, take a break. Now, let's go through a few rounds. So, for our mountain climbers, once again, pack those shoulders, roll those hips forward. Now, the way you wanna count these, each leg is gonna go once, and that's one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19 and 20. Okay, once you've completed all uh, reps for your mountain climbers, you're gonna go right into your push ups. So, you do a standard push up, hands right underneath your shoulders, and you're just gonna do a push up. If you can't do a standard push up, you may drop to your knees. Be sure that those hips, you got neutral hips, hands underneath your shoulders, and you're gonna do a push up. Now, one little wrench that you can throw into your workout to, to elevate the intensity of your workout, you can do Hindu push-ups. This is optional. All right, so if you're really one of those people that are really good at push-ups, you can do Hindu push-ups. So we're gonna start off in a pike position, right here. And then you're gonna flatten out into a push-up position, down, and then up, okay? And then bring it back, back to a pike position, okay? So you can do all your push-ups, Hindu push-ups. You can do all your push-ups standard, or you can do a modified, okay? All right, so once you've completed that, we'll move on to the second part of the workout. The second part of the workout, what we're gonna do, we, all you're gonna need is a dumbbell, okay? You got uh, something that, uh, that's gonna challenge you for 10 rounds. We're doing 10 reps for each exercise. So we're gonna do single arm rows, Okay, so what we're gonna do if you're gonna have it in your right hand, place your left elbow on your knee, your dumbbell or whatever you have, some type of weight in your right hand, and you're gonna row. 10 rows, okay? And then switch, and you're gonna give me 10 rows, okay? And then you're gonna pick up two dumbbells or two water jugs, whatever you have, and you're gonna stack your uh, shoulders down like this, and press overhead, okay, for 10 rounds. Now, the trick to this is you're gonna do an EMOM, okay? So the goal is you're gonna do a 10 minute EMOM, which means you're gonna do 10 rounds total. We'll do, you can do eight to 10, okay? So, you're gonna do 10 rows on the right, 10 rows on the left, 10 shoulder press. Whatever time is left inside that minute, that's how much time you have to rest. When the second minute rolls around, then you start again. 10 rows, 10 rows, 10 shoulder press. However much left time, time is left in that minute, that's how much time you have to rest until the third minute rolls around. And then you start over again. You keep going until you reach eight minutes, or if you choose to go 10 minutes, you can do that as well, okay? Once you've completed all rounds, or you've completed the EMOM, then you're done with the workout. You should be sweating, you should be breathing heavy, you should have that nice blood pumping through the muscles and things like that. All right, now let's stretch it out. So, basic stretch, nothing serious. So, arms up, elbows down, down and back. Stretch out the chest. Now, you can do this stretch or you can move it back to the wall and stretch your chest like we did at the beginning of the workout, okay? Hold it for 30 seconds, okay? Once you've done that, pull out the back, interlock those fingers, hold out the stretch. 30 seconds, okay? And then last but not least, stretch those shoulders. Place those fingers behind your back and press those shoulders down, okay? See that? You don't want your shoulders up, press them down. Hold it for 30 seconds. When you're done, you've completed the workout of the day, guys. So hopefully this workout challenges you, all right? Uh, I hope everyone enjoys the workout. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. See you guys. Peace.